for a Democrat to win statewide, and it's been like this for 22 years, for a Democrat to win statewide, early vote has to be very strong with the advent of no excuse absentee voting. Obviously, we look at those numbers and see how they fare out. You have to have a strong lead in the beginning as a statewide Democratic challenger. It is interesting to note that Senator Warnock, Reverend Warnock, uh, who's a friend of mine, has been a friend for many years, pastor of historic Ebenezer Baptist Church where Dr. King pastored. The entire reason why he is in the U.S. Senate, let's be clear, is because Stacey Abrams endorsed him early on when he decided to run. It cleared the way for Warnock to basically be the heir apparent in the Democratic primary to become the nominee for uh, the primary for Senate. Well, what you what you have not seen on the campaign trail is synergy between the Warnock campaign and the Abrams campaign. They have not been enemies, obviously. They are allies, they are friends. They know each other in the context of friendship beyond politics, but you have not seen them campaign together. That was a strategy. It was a vote that Abrams does not. Hmm. Warnock is able to still secure some white Christian evangelicals based on the last data we pulled from his election as Stacey Abrams did not. And so there was a strategy shift. The Abrams camp focused heavily on urban communities, in particular black male voters. I think it's a good idea, but you have to start that kind of strategy typically a year, two years before the election and make it more substantive. I think it's a good idea. You may not have had enough runway for that plane to take off. Warnock, on the other, other hand, he is a black male. There is a level of race identity in politics always. He's also pastor of Ebenezer, a historic church pastored once by Dr. King himself. And he has been a community advocate, activist, et cetera. So he has these bona fide dynamics connected to his existing political um, atmosphere and his political platform, coupled with the fact that he does not terrify uh, Christian evangelicals in the way that other candidates have historically. Now, does that mean he governs in a different way? No, his votes are actually the same. This is all about presentation. This is all about how the optics are interpreted by the masses. And to some degree, that's what elections are about. They should be about policy, but sometimes they are about personality.